Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Christy. I'm a homeschool mom to three kids and today I'm gonna to share with you what's in our spring book basket. a very large bookshelf in our living room full of books that the kids are able to grab any time that they want. However, I really like to pull some books from our collection that go like with the season or a theme that we're studying or something like that and put them in a basket. I just feel like the kids gravitate towards going in the basket because it's easier to kind of see what we have. And then also it's kind of special because it relates to something, either a season or something we're learning. All of these books are books that we had in our collection that I just pulled out anything related to the spring season. So anything from gardening to spring animals to weather, it just depends. I have a bunch of them that I pulled. We probably have more that I could have put in this basket, but I do try to kind of limit it to a pretty good selection, but not overwhelming. So first I'm gonna talk about the two spring read alouds that I'm planning for this season. So right now we are in the middle of reading The Train to Impossible Places, which doesn't really have a theme with anything, but we're reading that for fun. We're about halfway through, so when we finish that one, I plan on kind of transitioning into some spring themed read alouds. So the first one that I wanna do is The Little Singing Bird. This is a book from The Good and the Beautiful's library. It's a pretty thin book, however, it's pretty full of writing. There's not any pictures or anything. And this one is about a girl named Rosa who lives a very quiet life in Italy. And she pleads with her parents to get a golden canary and she's unaware of the inspiring events that are about to take place. Little Oro, Rosa's beloved bird with his lovely voice and fine disposition leads the Cavalelli family on a journey of faith and discovery during a time when faith is one of the most difficult things to have. And so, yeah, we're going to read this. I thought It'd be kind of a sweet little story to read for spring. The next spring themed read aloud I'm planning is Mandy. And this was written by Julie Andrews. And this is about a little girl. She's 10 years old. She's an orphan and she dreams of a place to call her own. Escaping over the orphanage wall to explore the outside world, Mandy discovers a tiny deserted cottage in the woods. All through the spring, summer, and fall, Mandy works to make it truly hers. Sometimes she borrows things she needs from the orphanage, sometimes to guard her secret she even lies then one stormy night at the cottage Mandy gets sick and no one knows how to find her except a special friend she didn't know she had we've never read any of the books that she's written but she's actually written quite a few if you look her up she's got quite a few that she's written the next book I have for our book basket is a rainbow of my own and this is just a sweet little story all about rainbows it's got some really beautiful illustrations in there it's about a little boy who wants to touch a rainbow and realize he can't like disappears when he tries to get to it and he kind of imagines playing with a rainbow and it's just a really fun little sweet story frog and toad it's definitely a classic we love these stories they're silly they're funny um, this is a frog and toad collection it's adventures of frog and toad it has a few different collections in there but it starts with spring and when I think of spring I don't know why but frog and toad kind of immediately come to mind so we really enjoy reading this especially my son he really likes this one Usborn book, Look Inside the World of Bees. I should have probably started this video with a disclaimer that I am an Usborn book consultant, so a lot of our books are from Usborn. Not all of them, but a lot of them are. So just if you see a lot of Usborn, that's why. But this one is all about bees and their job, and it's a flat book, which we absolutely love. All my kids love flat books, but it just gives a really good look inside and what bees' jobs are in the process of making honey and their hive and like a whole bunch of different facts about bees. The next two are kind of go together. This is the Usborn First Questions and Answers books. These are really good for like preschool aged kids. They're lift the flaps, but they just answer a bunch of questions about a topic because we all know little kids have a ton of questions. So this one is what makes it rain? And it's all about rain and weather and that sort of thing. And why does the sun shine? These are two of my son's favorite books, actually. And so we read these a lot, but I thought that they would be perfect for our spring basket. The Listening Walk. We actually read this book with Playing Preschool last year. It's such a beautiful story. I love this one so much. And it's all about 
walking in nature and taking time to listen. Listen to things around you, observe the world and nature and all that it has to offer. And it's just a really, really sweet story that talks about different sounds of springtime and we really, really love this one. A Stick is an Excellent Thing is a book of poetry and it's all like nature, like playing outside, kids getting in the mud kind of poetry and it's really fun. The Salamander Room is such a fun, imaginative story about a little boy who finds a little salamander outside and wants to take him home. And so he turns his bedroom into a habitat for the salamander. And he's just dreaming up and imagining how he can make basically the outside habitat come into his bedroom so he can live with his little salamander friend. And it's just like a really fun story. Chickens aren't the only ones. Now this is all about eggs and all kinds of creatures that lay eggs, not just chickens, not just birds. There's a ton of animals in here that lay eggs. Spiders and snails, like it's just full of animals that lay eggs and it's fun. Swirl by Swirl is such a cool book. Like just the illustrations alone really draw you in. And this book is all about spirals, like the spiral shape in nature and how they're found everywhere, you know, and it points them out. It talks about why a spiral is special and it just takes you along this little nature adventure. All the drawings in here are so cool. They're kind of like line drawings and they're really, really cool. A nest is noisy. Now, you've probably heard of a butterfly is patient. There's like a whole series that go around this. A nest of, is noisy is all about nests that animals make, not just birds, all different kinds of animals. And it's kind of like a poetic story and we really like this one. Over in the Meadow is another really cool illustrated story. It's very cool style here. And it's all about animals in the meadow and all the animals that live there. It's just all about animals in spring. The Garden, the Curtain, and the Cross is a story of the resurrection of Jesus. And so with Easter coming up, this is always a book that I bring out. We really love this story. It's a really good book for understanding the resurrection for kids. And my kids really like this one. The Usborne Lift the Flaps Seasons is all about the changing seasons. So not just spring, but kind of the process of how the seasons change. And this one, my toddler really, really loves. There's flaps inside for her to look at, and it just helps her kind of understand some of the things going on during each season. The Very Hungry Caterpillar is always one that I pull out at springtime. It's all about the caterpillar. If you never heard this story, he goes on an adventure of eating things and then eventually turns into a butterfly. And we love this one this is a very old copy we've gone through all of our children with this one it's definitely a classic too many tomatoes is a story this is an usborne book however i think it's out of print now you may be able to find it like on thrift books or something but too many tomatoes is about um, a grandson and his grandparents and their garden and how they have so many tomatoes they were just really, really blessed this year with a ton of tomatoes and how they share them with the community and everybody gets to have tomatoes. They even have a tomato parade. They just start giving away tomatoes to random people. Everybody gets a tomato. The plumber gets a tomato. The dancer, the one for the magazine stand man, like everybody gets a tomato. And it's just like a story about community. It's a fun kind of sing-songy, rhymey story and we love it. Luna Loves Art is another Usborne book. And the Luna books are some of my favorite. They're so beautifully illustrated and so much fun. And this one is all about Luna going on a field trip to the art gallery. So it's got real drawings, illustrations of real works of art inside, which is kind of cool. And so she is going on a field trip. And while she's at the art studio, she notices a boy who's kind of a little bit different. He's a little bit down and he kind of has a little bit of a rough home life and that's hinted through the story in a couple different areas. At first she doesn't understand why the way he is but eventually she kind of realizes why he is the way he is and befriends him 
and gives him somebody to to have a friend so this is a beautiful story of friendship of you know maybe somebody maybe going through something that you don't quite understand and being kind to people i'm almost always kind is another s born book this is about a young boy who is trying to be kind but he's not doing it in the best way like he's doing it the way he thinks is kind but it's really being taken as a not kind act. Not everybody likes the same things or playing the same things and sometimes your actions can come off a different way than you mean to. And it's all about just being kind and kind of putting yourself in other people's shoes and looking at things through a different perspective. The last book in our book basket is The Big Book of Blooms and this is such a beautiful book full of flowers. Tons of flowers, different types of flowers, um, different facts about flowers, just all sorts of flowers. And this is definitely a, a, a fun one to pull out in the spring so you can kind of learn more about growing flowers and how flowers grow and bloom in different types. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a peek inside our spring book basket. If you have any spring book recommendations for me, please leave them down below because I'm always looking for new books. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you in another video very soon. Bye.